Well, hello and welcome to the Ollie's Farm YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to be feeding our Belgian Blues on the farm. These are 30, which we've got in at the moment. 28 of them are heifers and two of them are stores. Uh, I've also got a couple of, uh, there's also a couple of Bel uh, blonde aquitaines in there as well. Uh, we're going to be feeding them silage today. They've got straw, a straw rack outside, uh, which I'm putting a bale of barley straw in every few days and they're more or less clearing up a whole bale, I would say within two to three days. In the morning they have concentrates. The concentrates predominantly um, are made up of wheat, soya, molasses and oilseed rape. They have this to complement their straw and marsh silage diet. The aim of the cereals is to, prov to provide the, the heifers here with enough protein in their diet to enable them to grow to the correct size so that when they reach 24 months old they'll be going to another farm and they'll be um, providing them as a replacement animal. So a farmer who's got a suckler herd will take, will, will buy our Belgian Blues here when they're 24 months a year old and they'll be using them as replacements in the suckler herd. So all of these Belgian Blue heifers here are going to be going and having long lives on other farms as breeding cows. So it's really important for us to be feeding them good quality food with a, which has been nutritionally balanced to allow them to get to their maximum potential. Having the marshes has been really helpful this year because it's enabled us to grow a good crop of silage when the main farm here has only been able to grow a dry crop of Italian ryegrass. However, our first cut was, was very good, but the second, we, the second cut was non-existent and so was the third. So we've only actually, we only managed to get on this farm one cut of silage. So having the marshes at the other site, which is um, about six miles away from here, has been really helpful this year because it's enabled us to, one, keep the majority of our cattle going down there, uh, because the marshes are wetter, so that allows the, even in a, in a dry period, um, the marshes allow for um, a good amount of grass growth, even during drier months. So on the back of the machine here, I'll just show you, I've got a bale of marsh silage I've got on the back here. It's uh, first cut and it's come up a really nice flat field down at the marshes and I was able to get quite a good yield down there this year. So I'm gonna feed it out to them now because they're ready for their afternoon feed. coming to the end of uh, their bay, so I'm going to shut the machine off, turn off the hydraulics, push the revs right down, and back into park. Well, that's all from the cows and I. They're a lot quieter now that they've been fed. This week I'm going to be going down to Ben Burgess, and I'm going to be checking out the brand new John Deere 6250R. So I hope you uh, have enjoyed this video, and give me some feedback, let me know what you think, and if there's anything else you'd like to see, let me know. And uh, I'll catch you on the next video.